We wanted to definitely design a course that is going to challenge you, so we have a lot of over and under walls. <laughs> we have a bunch of straight uh, hay bales, a bunch of tires that are crawling through, um, just anything that can challenge anyone. We're here at the first ever Slimeathlon, a 5K race featuring 30 obstacle courses, and it's all for a good cause. Event organizers say the obstacle course was a way for them to combine their two passions, fitness and philanthropy. This is an, a total charity event, we're not for profit, and we're trying to raise money for 10 local charities around the city. And you know, it's a fun way instead of just running to actually like getting out, jumping over obstacles. And you know, it's just a fun way to exercise. About two years ago, my son Michael committed suicide. Um, he had struggled with substance abuse issues. A lot of people don't know how to go, go about getting the help they need. And then sometimes they can't afford it. So that's what we're here for is to help put people in touch with those that can help them. And then if they can't afford, to pay for it, that's what we're here for. I'm here on behalf of Making Strides Against Breast Cancer. It's our annual 5K non-competitive walk that we do every October, downtown Indianapolis. Basically what Making Strides Against Breast Cancer is, it's uh, fundraising money to help our patients research programs and services that we have. Currently one out of two newly diagnosed breast cancer patients turn to the American Cancer Society for help and services. So it's a big need that we definitely raise a lot of funds for. I'm here at the start line. Let's see what this race is all about. Hi, my name's Renee File. Renee, why are you here today? I'm here to have fun. Yeah, have you ever done anything like this before? Nope, this is my first time. Okay, are you worried about getting slime? No, I'm ready to get slime. All right, let's go. While the atmosphere at the Marion County Fairgrounds may not have been too competitive, that doesn't mean this course was easy. There's three high walls that had the ropes on them, one right after the other. Yeah, that, I had to help him over that one. That was tough. Yeah. <laughs> what was the most challenging part? Um, the tall walls with the ropes that you have to, uh, yeah, fill. That, that's what everyone's been saying. But we tried. We tried. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. It was very challenging. Yeah. Just... Oh, yes, definitely. We try not to roll our ankles. <laughs> we actually had one of ours sprain his ankle, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, poor thing. He's right over here. <laughs> it's definitely a health benefit. Like just getting out here and exercising, running. You are using all different kinds of muscles by pulling up getting up high, going down low, going through tires. It pretty much works out every muscle in your body. And it's definitely a tough course to run, going over and under. In addition to the physical health benefits of completing a 5K, runners can leave this course feeling good about giving back to their community. Really <laughs> cool. It was good, but it was good.